Hello and welcome, and this is Japan, and this is another tier list, a very important tier list. I've done this before, but I need to rank the waifus of Overwatch. I mean, it just happens. We, we get new characters, so we got to re-rank them every once in a while. And I've, I think the last time I ranked them, it was on the old system of just putting anybody where I want to put them and, and not having any repercussions of actually having ranking. So like I normally do, we have to have the same amount each one. So some people are going to slide and probably not be as high as they want to be, but it makes it more fair and makes it more true ranking of everything. Um, so first up is Anna. Nothing wrong with Anna at all. Like, she'd definitely be up there. But you know who else is coming? I'm gonna put a safe bet putting Anna in C tier right now. I don't feel like um, she should be that low, especially if you see some of the younger skins that she has. But knowing who else is in the game, I think that's the safest part to put her C. Hopefully she doesn't slide further. Um, unfortunately, sometimes that happens in these type of things. Um, but... It makes it makes it a little bit more difficult and more spicy to try to figure out. Uh, next up, we have Ash. God, this is I really I really like Ash. Um, kind of got that, you know. Um, I'm trying to think of what I was gonna say, like uh, tough attitude, but I was gonna say something cooler, but it didn't really come out. So uh, tough is what I'm gonna go with. Um, obviously smoking hot i'm gonna put her in a i feel like most of the other times i put her in s but i don't know how many i'm gonna have to save so you know i can't adjust it as i go along but a tier is safe for ash right now um definitely definitely is waifu material um uh, next up is uh one of my favorite just to say is brig you know brigita i i i i've just started playing her so like I get more of the appeal of her over overall. I'm also going to put her in A tier. I feel like somebody's going to have to change, but I'm, I'm just, uh, it's just, it's going to be hard. I know a lot of other people are coming up. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's hard. Like, I'm trying to base off of everything. This waifu, wife material. So, like, um, looks and uh, personality, too, have to come into effect. So, I'm going to have to put A for her but i feel like she could possibly be s depending on the who's rest in here um next up is diva uh i definitely think diva's s i mean uh, i like diva a lot not to mention uh she's a gamer and that would be fun and uh yeah she's kind of perfect uh when it comes to her character wise so diva definitely s i mean she has a giant robot too so that's that's kind of fun uh next up is echo um i don't think there's honestly anything wrong with echo but she is a robot like an artificial intelligent so I'm going to take the safe bet and put her in D just because we got a lot of other people and I'm going to, you know, you kind of have to pick out the smallest flaws to, to get people into different areas. But so Echo D sounds reasonable. Next up was Alari. Um, I like Alari a lot. Um, I think when we get some more skins and more backstory with her, she could probably be higher up. But for now, I'm going to put a dead center. You know, B is, I think a solid spot to put her because she's obviously great material but a lot of other people could be above her next up is junker queen now she's kind of like a scary good compared to some of the other people in here that are just scary bad um i'm gonna have to put her in b2 i don't know <laughs> it's a little scary she she could probably definitely crush me in every part of my body but that that doesn't necessarily shy me away from this but uh b for now uh, next up is Kiriko. I absolutely adore Kiriko, so she's definitely going to be an S. Um, one of my first mains in the game, and she's just adorable. And uh, and everything else, like she's she's that whole package. So S tier for sure. She was like the no doubter at the top of my brain to be an S tier. S tier. So, and, and I'm glad we got that out of the way in the early, so I can kind of figure out the rest of this list because i'm trying not to like even think or look ahead so i'm just trying to base it off of and then go from there so it makes it a lot harder <laughs> um next up would be may i'm gonna put her in a tier a is uh i, I definitely think may could go higher than that but um overall i feel like a is a, a solid spot to put her in obviously she's smart as hell you know, beautiful everything has a huge like really huge uh uh 
God, now it's going to sound bad because I got stuck on whatever I was going to say. <laughs> I don't know why I was going to say huge potential. I just meant like a uh, huge potential to move up to S tier and wasting so much time on it made it sound worse. But uh, yeah, hey, <laughs> next up is Mercy. Now, I I'm going to be honest, Mercy just doesn't do it for me compared to some of the other characters. Um, she's definitely not bad. Like, I'm not going to go that far, but... I don't think I'd put her, I'd definitely put her like A tier, but I don't think I would knock her out, knock anybody else that's in A tier away, and I don't think she'd, she'd go up to S tier, so I'm going to put her in B for the time being, I feel like that one is going to get the most people messed up, but we might have spots, we might have four, but knowing that my bottom part of this is pretty low, um, we're going to have some issues, uh, next up we have uh, Mora, she just scares the crap out of me, let's play the simple. Just nothing about her that I, I love. She, I love playing as her. I, I love playing her, but uh, definitely not uh, anything in the waifu material. Uh, next up is Farah. That is my uh, probably final S tier. Uh, I, I, Farah just seems really cool and awesome, so uh, definitely S tier for me. Um, I feel like that's probably the best spot to part her. I, I definitely think she's S, and I don't think she would anybody could knock her out of there. So S tier right now would be perfect. Uh, next up is Soldrin. See, I'm kind of... But my main concern with Soldrin is just she mostly robot. <laughs> like That's like really only, only the only problem. But it's a big problem when you have a list of people that you're ranking in a, in a terrible way. So I would put her in C for the time being. Um, it's, it's a rough one when you have so many people on this list that are like... Everybody's designed to be um, people. Like designed to be the top tier people people that they have um next up is sombra see sombra is just so annoying in games that i i, I just don't know and, and she reminds me of Raze because that's the same voice actor so it's like and Raze is just like like a cute boy like it's my, my cute friend <laughs> um i'm gonna put her in c for the time being and i feel like i'm gonna have a little bit of space to move some people around so c probably will be where a good spot to put her for now. Next up is is um, Sombra. Uh, that's Symmetra. I, I was looking at Sombra's picture and just said the wrong name. I'm going to put her in B. I think middle of the road here. I think that uh, there'll be some movement on some other spots. So I think that would be perfect for her um, for the time being. Uh, next up is Tracer. Tracer's known one just doesn't really do it for me. Plus, she's just so annoying in game. And her voice is kind of annoying. <laughs> God. So this is, ends up just being shitty. <laughs> Put it in C. Um, next up, we have Widowmaker. See, Widowmaker, like, she's just scary. And, like, like an unreasonable amount of scary to to want to put her up too high. I think I'd feel good about putting Junker Queen to A and putting Widow in B. Which is probably another one that, like, I have Widow and Mercy in the middle of the road. I think people are going to be like, what the hell? But I feel like that's the safest. Like, I feel like, uh, honestly, anybody here um, could get it. But, like, I feel like B is, like, like that brim of, like, we just need one good skin. <laughs> Change your mind um, type of thing. But I think that's where we're going to go. And then uh, Zarya is going to go last. Uh, again, just kind of scary. Just not really my type, and um, with how everything kind of situates with everybody else, this is the the safest way to make uh, the tier list look nice. So tell me if you guys agree. I have a feeling this is one of those that not a lot of people are going to agree with, um, but at least my top three on the S tier, I, I feel solid on that, at least for me. Again, it's my opinion, not anybody else's, but I do want to hear your guys' opinion. Who is your top three, I guess, would be the best way say it and who's your bottom for me because like that also could be interesting to see what people say but until next time this is japan bye guys